Hello and welcome to Back 40 Bushcraft. Today I've, I have my uh, wall tent. It's not really a true prospector wall tent coming in, but it's uh, it's an old Rainier 60s 9x12 canvas tent. And um, I'm going to start making a, a bush camp up in the mountains. I'll be doing some recording on that. But what I've got here is one of these old metal jerry cans and I remember in my years living up in the Yukon I remember seeing someone that had an old Dodge van as you can see I'll try and get in close on that is that is threaded and so what I've seen is an individual who ran a two inch threaded pipe up and out and this is what I'm going to turn into my wood stove my plan is to cut out a back door here which will hinge and then maybe a little slider plate along the bottom to allow access for uh, for my air intake. Um, it will essentially just sit like this and, and the chimney will come out and uh, the door and everything and I'll put a little latch on it so I uh, <coughs> kind of just taking a little Random guess at what my door might look like, and I just found this piece of cedar that I was building something for my uh, my wife, and didn't actually end up using. So I just kind of thought I would maybe go with a door that's going to be about that wide, that kind of thing, and then it's. I was thinking I'd probably come around the corner a little bit, like that, on each side, come around like that. And then uh, I haven't really come up with a slot for the bottom, but I suspect it's going to be just something like that. Now, I'm a bit curious because this is, I don't think this is a weld. They call that a crimping seal or something like that. If you know uh, exactly what that's called, feel free to leave a comment. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to just try and uh, maybe cut this out with my angle grinders somewhat nice as I can. I'm definitely not. What do you want, kitty? Hey, get out of here. Come on. Skedaddle. So, I'm going to uh, try making a couple cuts and uh, see if it all holds together. Okay, so I managed to do a get my door cut out. But of course, the thing's going to want to fall in. So what I've done is I've just gone out into the scrap pile there and found myself a little piece of flashing. And so I've clamped it to mold it into, into place. And now I'm just going to drill a couple holes and I'm just going to try riveting it in place. I have a welder. I have no idea how to use it. All I seem to be able to do is get the rod to stick to the metal and burn everything out. So I'm going with a total non-welding uh, system here and hopefully that's going to work. I honestly think I have the dullest drill bit on the planet right now. I'm uh, trying to force my way through it. I got a couple holes in there anyways. Starting to hold. It's just going to be a simple little setup like that. Uh, then I think I'm just going to try fixing my hinges on. I, um, I just found an old hinge of mine. Seems a little long. Well, it is a little long. It's longer than that. So I may have to cut it down a bit first with the grinder before I before I try attaching that on. But needless to say, I'm just painfully trying to get through these rivets. Okay, so it sure doesn't look very pretty. Uh, I managed to get my 
little piece in there, but I <laughs> my drill bit broke on the last one, so I'm gonna have to do some updating. I found some of my old Toyota screws. May as well use some old Tercel parts. Uh, just to get my hinge, I ended up cutting it back and uh, doing that. So, I mean, that's essentially where where my door is gonna be at. I feel like once I get, I will extend my flange, whatever you wanna call it, flange along the inside there, um, on all four sides, just to make it feel a little bit more airtight. Who knows, maybe I'd even be able to come up with some kind of rope thing to put on there. Uh, and then I'm also, once I get all those flanges on, I'm, I'm hoping to put a little latch along the side somehow. And then I suppose on my other idea, I'd thought about cutting out the bottom and putting a slide on there. But I think what I'm likely going to end up doing is uh, taking a short bolt of some sorts that'll be... Um, I'll drill a hole and then the bolt will come through and I'll put some kind of a wheel and I'll just drill some holes so that the wheel, larger wheel or washer or whatever, that's how I'm going to tune my my airflow. Rather than trying to make more cuts like this, obviously I'm uh, far from profesh as my son would say about all that, but I mean for right now I got the makings of a wood stove. Well, I'm gonna to be totally late for hockey, so I'm actually just gonna uh, try and give this. I I did um, put a little bend up a little grill in there just so we can have some air getting in underneath. It just happened to be something that I think should work well enough for now. Uh, I still smell gas fumes in this thing, and I do believe it's got a plastic coating in there. So, uh, you know, let's see if it actually goes whoomph. In which case, hopefully my wife would upload this to uh, YouTube and how not to go about starting these one of my favorite at-home fire starters is definitely the uh, the waxed uh, vegetable boxes so I'm in such a rush I actually just brought out a little butane torch to try and help the process along I need to get ready for hockey though that's about where I'm at Now I'm going to, uh, hopefully this thing will burn out and clean up before I go to hockey because I have a friend. I'm not going to get any vacuum out of this because I don't have the uh, any section of chimney for it. So I, you know, it's mainly just wanting to see if I can get some, some kind of uh, burn action out of this.
don't have my latch. I still have flanges to build. But check it out. I got some smoke coming out of the chimney. I'm going to let that burn. And uh, hopefully it'll clear everything out. And then I'll be ready to roll. <laughs>